a cow and a calf and then a, a yearling stalker, okay? Um, I'll have pictures up here later on, pictures of a cow, pictures of, a, that way you'll have an idea of what's what. Like I said, we don't care if it's a 12 year old or a five year old. That's probably not, not your determination. What you need to know is it's a cow versus a calf. Here on the top left is a, a cow. Top right is a heifer. The heifer turns into a cow after she's had the calf. The calf turns back into a, a heifer or a bull. The bull, which is bottom right, is very muscular. At some point in time, early on in his, on his life, they will uh, castrate him, band him, whatever, and they may or may not turn him in, into a steer. It depends upon their purpose. If, you, if it's very muscled up, very strong, very stout, you know it's a bull, okay? Kind of like she's talked about earlier uh, uh, about the testicles and where they draw up. Bulls, are, they're gonna hang down. You, you'll be able to see them very easily. Um, these are some, some colors of them. Uh, the one on the, on the right is just a, just a uh, Hosting, okay? Just a spotted one. Uh, top left is, is a red and the bottom is, is a roan, okay? And I have some few more pictures. We'll talk about blacks and black baldies and things like that. Um, the top picture is Angus. They're black, okay? There's if you, if you see black cows, just assume that they're Angus. We don't, there are a few other breeds that are black. That's not really your determination. Um, then at the bottom is a black baldy. Basically they're a black hided calf with a white face, okay? White spotted, white mottled, something like, like that, okay? Mottled kind of means patchy. Um, Herefords, everybody should know what those are, okay? They're just a red body cattle with white face and white tip tails and, and, and white legs, okay? Now, just because that they, uh, they have a horn does not mean that they're a bull. Cows can have, have horns. Now, in the industry, we're trying to get away from the horns by we're having them cut, uh, cut off, okay, or seared when they're, when they're young, okay? But just because they have a horn does not mean that they're a bull. These are what I call more athletic cattle. We've got a Brahma here, uh, crosses. They're longer eared. They got a lot of uh, leather up around their, their uh, breast area, okay? Those cattle with the longer ears tend to be a little more skittish, a little more wilder. When you pull in the gate, they head to the other side of the field. There on the, on the, on the, on the, on your, on the left side of the screen are Charlay. Basically, that's the only white calf that we have, okay? There are, are solid white calf, but, and then on the right is, is a commercial. Commercial, they could be any color, mixed, whatever. You don't ever know. It could be reds, whites, blacks, roans, anything. Just whatever came off the, the truck on that time. If they're all the same color, like this one on the, on the left, the, these are Charlays, that could be a very much of a purebred system. All right? If they're one on, on the right, they're just commercial. They could be a mix of anything. Sports cattle, you know, Mex the, the, was it in Mexico they use those for, for roping and stuff like that. You know, we use these for, for rodeos and, and things like that. So um, they, these can be kind of athletic too. Ear tags, we're getting better at this. Some of them will have their brand or their name and, and, and phone number on them. Some of them, and it, they're easy to, easy to see, all right? Some of them, like it's, like, it's not much of a tag. It could be a, like a, a, an, an insecticide tag. I don't really know. There's no numbers on it. It's not hard to see. I, I, I don't know. But these on the, there's a 16 digit uh, code. Those are USDA. So if you ever see those, if you ever get the chance to get that close, just recognize that that's USDA and you cannot move those. You cannot m remove those. And even these that, that's got the ranch name and number on them, do not move, remove those. I don't know if it's illegal or not, but the USDA side it is. When we're talking about branding, there's basically two ways. You can freeze brand or hot brand. Most of these are, are hot brand styles, or what's more, what's more used around here. Uh, but brand location, if it's on the left hip, that's, and it's the, and it's, that's different than left side, okay? Does that make sense? If you have it on the left hip, it's different than the left side. That's, two complete different owners. They may have the same brand on it, okay? Maybe a rooftop type deal. But if it's on the hip, that's different than on the side or on the shoulder. The right side is different than the left. So that's an identification mark that, that you may want to be able to, to know. It's on the left side or right side. It's like a rooftop or a bar or something like that. 
circle C, whatever.